From the nation's capital to the harvest fields of the Midwest, believers have been crying out to God for spiritual renewal in America. Some believe the nation sits on the brink of collapse, with the only hope being a visitation of God's power and presence. Revival or we die. That's where you have to get. You have to get to that place where you can't live any longer without visitation. It could be personal. It could be personal revival where you know there must be a breakthrough. What will heal the deep racial, social, and political divisions that are tearing us apart? In his new book, Revival or We Die, A Great Awakening is Our Only Hope, Dr. Michael Brown says revival is vital to seeing things change. We're at that critical moment again. America is being torn apart by the seams, and we've seen there are no political solutions, there are no social solutions, and the church itself has become impotent. So we're, we're at a crisis point in American history where without divine visitation, America as we know it could come to an end or, or could be so marred that the world our kids or grandkids grow up in will be very, very different. Dr. Corney Becker, Dean of Regent University's School of Divinity, agrees saying we've reached a time of spiritual reckoning. But I believe America recognizes that politics cannot save her. Ideology cannot save her. Social change cannot save her. Only the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. A student of past revival movements, Becker believes in order to experience true spiritual renewal, the church must first prepare. Revival throughout the history of the church is always a sovereign move of God. No man can, in essence, make it happen. It is supernatural. And so what we desperately need to do is to cry out to God. And and that's what Psalms 85 says, revive us, O Lord. And then secondly, to search our hearts, to allow the Holy Spirit to search our hearts. In 1995, Brown helped lead the Brownsville Revival in Florida, which lasted six years. He says supernatural moves of God are unscripted and out of the norm. When revival happens, it's not just a matter of one or two people getting excited or a crowd getting lifted up. Revival happens outside of church buildings. Some of the greatest testimonies we heard during the days of the Brownsville Revival were after people left or when they got to their church service next Sunday, the fire of God would fall and the fire of God would continue to burn for months and even for years. Becker is hopeful that the nation is on the verge of something even bigger. True revival happens in the streets, happens in the homes, and happens in the darkest places of society. Think of the most chaotic places in our world, the darkest places in our world. That's where the spirit is hovering, waiting to recreate. It's not too late for America. An impact he believes will be undeniable we will see monumental change firstly in the church, but we will also see it within community. We will see families being restored. We will see crime go down. We will see a thirst and hunger for holiness within our world. Signs Brown says are already taking place. As I've been out ministering just this year as as restrictions have lifted after COVID, I'm seeing God move in ways. I'm seeing hunger. I'm seeing people weeping in the presence of God. I'm seeing people set free and transformed. It's happening here and there. I believe it's gonna be nationwide and we could literally see the nation ablaze with revival fire. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.